Hey, badass business owners, today I want to talk about a dirty little secret that a lot of small business owners do not like to share, but I'll guarantee you the vast majority of them have experienced it, and some of you are having it right now. And that is this, being a small business owner is a lonely gig. A lot of you will suffer from that at some point. If you haven't yet, it's just a matter of time. But why is it lonely and why do we have to keep this a secret and why are we ashamed by it? I don't want you to be ashamed. I'm not talking about the loneliness that you feel when you, there's nobody around because obviously you're around a lot of different people. You've got your family, your friends, your customers. It's not that kind of loneliness. But what I'm talking about is that you're doing this business all by yourself. You're a solopreneur after all. And for most of you, you do not have people in your world, in your orbit, if you will, that understand what it's like to be a small business owner. And when you get excited about your business, you want to share that with people that you care about. So you've probably been talking to your spouse, to your friends, and all you do is talk about your business and they start rolling their eyes like, oh, not this again, right? And then when you need that motivation, that pickup to know that you're on the right direction, there's no one to turn to. This is where that loneliness a lot of times comes in. So today I want to kind of talk about that. Let's get it out on the table and let's talk about some things that you can do that's going to help you out with this problem. Now, I wish I could tell you that there's some magic bullet, some special drink that you can take and it's all going to go away. It's not. It's going to be this way. But there's some things you can do that's going to help. The first thing we need to do is we need to get you around some like-minded individuals, people that understand the struggles that you're having on a regular basis. And you can do this a couple of different ways. For some people, they buddy up with other small business owners. Now, they don't have to be in the same business that you are. You can pick anybody with any kind of business because what you're looking for isn't someone to tell you how to run your specific business, but somebody that understands what you're going through and someone that you can bounce ideas off of, you can share share things, stuff like that. So all they have to do is understand a being a business owner. So if you can find a buddy in your area, that will help out a lot. Another thing that you can do is join some networking groups. A lot of times people go, oh, I don't have time for a networking group. I don't, I have plenty of business. I don't need to do that. But see what you're getting from a networking group is more than just leads and new business. Yes, that is a great benefit of that. But for that hour or so that you're with those people, these are like-minded individuals that you can talk business to and you can be surrounded by other individuals that are going through the exact same thing that you're doing. Now, I can hear some of you already. Tammy, I'm an introvert. You don't understand. I can't do networking. I do understand. I am an introvert. I joke around all the time that I play an extrovert when I go to work. But I am one of those people that do not like crowds, do not like being around a lot of individuals. And networking, when I started it, was one of the worst things that I felt I was going to have to go through. But I'm going to tell you what, it actually wasn't bad at all. Yes, getting there sometimes and whatever and psyching yourself up. But once I was there and immersed with these individuals, ones these are people that I came to become accustomed to being around. And the thing that I found fascinating was to be around to hear about everybody else's business and what was going on, the ideas they had and everything else. So after a while, you really get over that piece of it. So I encourage you to look at your Chamber of Commerce, BNI meetings or any other local groups that meet in your area because that's another way to kind of help a little bit with that loneliness. What you really want to do is you really want to find like-minded individuals that you can share your successes with, your wins, your losses, bounce off ideas, ask them about a marketing situation that you're going on, ask them what happened when they did certain things. That's why the buddy system is actually one of the best things that you can do. Find one to two or three different small business owners that you can be in a group. So you don't have to be in a full-on networking group. You could just have lunch or something every single week or every few weeks with these three or four business owners, or even if it's just one-on-one. I don't want you to feel lonely, but it's going to feel that way as you're the only person typically in your business. But even if you have employees, you can still feel that loneliness because a lot of times you're not sharing that information with your employees. Now, there's nothing wrong with you sharing information. Matter of fact, if you've listened to the podcast in the past, I've always talked about the fact that I think you should share what's going on in your business with your employees. That's a show for a different day. But what I will tell you is it kind of helps having somebody that you can bounce ideas off of and what is going on. Now, there's another thing that you can do, which will help you with this whole loneliness thing. And that is to find a mentor, somebody that could kind of be a coach to you. And it could be a coach, for example, because I am a coach. I actually do this for quite a few different people, but I'm not, this isn't a thing for me. But what I'm telling you is sometimes if you can find a mentor or someone you can look up to, someone who's been in business longer than you, 
partly tied to that whole buddy system we were talking about earlier. If you have somebody that you can talk to on a regular basis just to run by them all the different ideas that you have, this also can kind of help with it. So it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that you become best friends with, but it could be somebody that you have a regular meeting with set up. For example, like that coach I was just talking about. The challenge that I find with most small business owners is they really don't want to talk about this. They don't want to put it out on the table and they don't want to admit to someone else that they're lonely. So I'm not telling you to go out there and tell somebody that, hey, I'm lonely. How about you? No, I'm not saying to do that. But what I'm saying is you just go up to people and just say, hey, I see you're running a small business. I'm running a small business. Do you have anybody that you bounce ideas off? I'd love to do it. Sometimes, by the way, you just become friends with people because you are in those networking groups or you go to events within your city. Now, I know I'm making this sound a lot easier than what it really is, especially if you haven't made any connections with anybody in your local community, but I'm telling you, it will make a huge difference. Now, for some people, they actually turn to online. It doesn't necessarily mean they need to be in person. You can join Facebook groups with different people that have the similar business that you do or just a general one with general business owners, and you can throw ideas out there and feel free to engage in the conversation. Sometimes that can help out quite a bit as well. So don't look past joining any kind of Facebook group that are out there. You can also join your community pages and just be part of the activeness in there. And eventually you might find another business owner who's in there that you could like one day just say, hey, dude, can I buy you lunch? Can we hit meet at Subway or something like that? There's all kinds of different things that you can do. The biggest thing that you need to understand is you're not alone in this. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of small business owners all over the place that are going through exactly what it is that you are going through. Your goal is how do you connect with some of those people? Listen, I want each and every one of you guys to be successful and I want you to have an amazing business, but it is going to be a lonely road. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's, you're going to feel as if you're in this alone. And that's one of the main reasons I actually started this podcast is because I didn't want people to feel like they were alone. I didn't want them to feel as if they're the only one experiencing what it is that they're experiencing. And I always thought that I would just offer myself up to be someone that was out here for you guys so that you can listen to me or now watch and realize that, no, you're not alone. There's there's a huge community out there of small business owners. Some of them are working from their home. Some of them are going out into the wild. It doesn't matter. You all feel the exact same thing. You just need somebody around you that understands what it is that you're going through. So until you find that person who's going to be your buddy or some kind of network that you're going to join, just know you've got me. I'm always going to be here for you, and I will go ahead and continue to make sure that you're not alone, that you don't feel alone, and that you always can reach out to me, which is why you're going to find me trying to be here every single Monday for you guys with a new episode, so this way you know that I'm at least here, at least on Mondays. And feel free to put comments down there. If you guys have questions, put them down there. If you've watched it all, I respond to every single comment that I get. You're not in this alone, and I just want you to know I'm here for you. So hit subscribe so we can meet up every single Monday when I release these new videos and I got your back. I'm here for you. Matter of fact, if you want to watch something else, watch this video that's showing up over here and we'll stay together for a little bit longer. I'll see you on the next one.